Hey, Claire, Ace and Cross Watches. This is your read for April. Yay! Hope you're enjoying all the isolation and the social distancing, because I know I fucking am. Uh, anyway, Aquarius and Cross Watchers alike, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If it resonates with you, could deal with fuck this book your nose away it goes. No point in worrying about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you and ain't none of your damn business unless you're nosy like I am, and that's why we're all here. Hey, welcome to the forecast. I hope you like smoked sausage biscuits because they're on sale today. Anyway, uh, let's see. Your energy of vibration or the person you're dealing with, the energy of vibration is a victory with the two of cups, right? However, right, the situation is this knight of swords. Looks all pretty, but still is a fucking threat, and that's because of some enabled behaviors or something that went wrong right could be you aquarius or libra or gemini wants and wishes is the five of cups reverse things went down and went down badly leading to conflict or at least that's what someone's hoping for however the obstacle and challenges we got virgo's card the hermit their intuition's litty and they're picking up that a choice needs to be made on a mental stage not a physical stage right Or an obstacle challenge is, is to keep your intuition up to know what kind of decision you have to make, too. Here's the rejection. This is a page of wands who only cares about his dick riding in to make an offer. And then the how this shit starts, how it will end. Impatience. Aquarius, for some reason, temperance is your card, but we'll go for it. And you're losing patience and feeling a little bit betrayed by that, too. You're, like, sitting there waiting on the hermit, being like, are you going to do anything? And he's like, eh. Maybe. I haven't figured it out yet. Oof. The beginning theme is the King of Cups. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Which is like... His glass is completely empty, but for some reason they're still shitting in it. It's him. So, that's always nice. Always nice, Aquarius. Yes. So let's see. What's with this... Six of Cups and the Two... No, Six of Wands and the Two of Cups. My bad. My bad. Gossip talks of the town about a wish fulfillment going on here. People are gathering together for a wish fulfillment, it seems like. Gaining presidency as the Emperor, I believe. Hmm, look at that, Aquarius. You might have good luck this reading for once. Like, shit. Every time I read for you, y'all are trying to escape somebody. So let's see. Knight of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. Both reverse. Oh, we got the Hermit. The Hermit's looking at the shit, trying to figure it all out on the inside. But there's no time for that. What there's time for is a gallop towards love. Right? Or he's looking to see that there is no more time for galloping up to grab that cup. It's all out. Like an hourglass. Fun fact, I brought my hourglass my little sister got for me one Christmas. I think that's my most valuable treasure that I own. If that makes sense. Wands and wishes. The five of cups with the five of wands. Five of Cups is reversed. That's a lot of fucking conflict. It ended badly and probably ended in more conflict if that's what somebody wanted, you know. Probably with the King of Wands, a Leo, Sag, or an Eret Sagittarius. I almost said Eretarius. That didn't make any sense. Um, won't let something rest. Or just like fuck it and trying to move on from like the past events that did probably make them happy. However, the obstacle and challenge is using the intuition to be litty in order to make it some sort of decision. Mm. A judgment call that something is not working out here. Or something is not what one dreamed it would be. And that's got him a little bit hard-headed and stubborn. We got the Hierophant right here. Taurus's card. Uh, mm. Do you think you're right? Or does the person you're dealing with think that they're right and they're not letting the shit go? What was my last reading for you? Wasn't it like someone wouldn't let you the fuck go? It's basically the same thing. Except I feel like you want them to go away. But it's like every time they start listening to their intuition, 
it switches up on them sometimes. Like, maybe they do one thing and then they come back and do another direct, you know, like a, like, fucking backwards or some shit. Like, you can't tell what they're trying to do. Page of Wands, Reverse, with the page, with the Knight of Pentacles. Someone who's immaturely thinking with their dick trying to make an offer of some sort, right? They think they can bring balance with their pentacle. That makes the Seven of Pentacles, too. But the Seven of Pentacles came out to be bad over here. But it wouldn't start anything new or it wouldn't bring a new beginning right here. And then all of a sudden they would feel victorious. Hmm. Or are you trying to bring balance in a situation in order for you to both feel like you're victorious? Because that's not going to happen. You're going to stand on your own, Aquarius. Like you can't really bring anybody with you in this sense. How the shit starts to end the Temperance card. Reverse with the Ten of Swords. Some of this is their patience over a betrayal. But they still got regrets that they can't get over either. You know? Not wanting to take a leap of faith because of it over here. When it comes to making an actual decision. To this Two of Cups scenario. What's the ending theme with this King of Cups? Empress Reverse. Aquarius, either you or someone you're dealing with or cross watchers, like you're somebody here who's um I think you got yourself like a boyfriend or a girlfriend, depending on your gender, or whoever you're into. I think you got yourself a partner who doesn't want to be your partner. Like this King of Cups might have influenced this Empress to be reversed, you know? There's really no more excuses for shit, either in the vibration or the energy. I feel like that's part of the impatience, too. And somebody needs to give something to a gnome. The situation, Aquarius. Um, someone is going to get over whatever regrets came up to be. And then they're going to learn to have a good fucking time. They're dropping that cup, and then they're going to go party with bitches. That's what they're going to do. With his wants and wishes over here. Mm. Whoever this king of wands is. I think he has the sensation to drag people through fire. Or through pain. Just to restore his joy, you know. Ah. That way they feel like they can start something new. That's nice. That's always nice. Whatever this fiery sign is, you know, it might be a dick. Just saying. Um, one more on this, actually. I'm curious. Oof. There's the Emperor. Didn't the Emperor Reverse show up another time? Somewhere? Either way, um, hmm. Are these even the same Emperors? This one's upright and the other one's reverse. Obstacles and challenges. You got a book. Someone doesn't want to be single, but they need to know that they need to cut that shit out. There might be a king of pentacles right here who's got nothing to fucking lose. He will go after whatever. He has nothing to lose. Um, there are things that you just can't let go of even though they're dead. Here's the Empress right here. She's got all her ducks in the row. But it seems like someone can say whatever to set her right off and just go on a verbal attack. Which manifests this desire to really look inside oneself and realize that's not much of an option anymore now, is it? That's why this, like, feeling of being single or feeling single and not liking it needs to be cut out almost, Aquarius. Here's her rejections. Someone's guarded. Trying to talk to the other person who's more guarded than they are. Oof. Don't... Okay. Whoever this fire sign is... No. Because... Hmm. There's something about how they set up their supremacy and how they act. I feel like there's a trap here. Like, whatever reward you thought you were going to get, Aquarius, I don't think it's here. I don't think it's worth it either. 
How does it start? How it'll end? Someone should have listened to people. Or they listen to people. And put their sword down and shit instead of cutting the bitch. And take a bow. Out of whatever it is this is. Something isn't meshing well or somebody has to say goodbye to a, a, a connection that they have, Aquarius. By driving the motherfucker away. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it makes no sense. This makes no sense to me. This is going to be one of those where it's going to pop up like a week or two later. Fuck. Okay. So anyway, Aquarius and Crosswatchers, that's the end of the reading. Right? So, this, if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course. It's all up to you what you want to do. But I greatly appreciate it, as always. Anyway, I love y'all's faces, and I will see you later. Hopefully sooner than the last time. Bye-bye.